Good morning, party people. It is Will Pemble. We are back in the garage, and I am going to try and make some progress on this lift. Help! So, what I've got so far is from last time. You may remember that I that I kind of rebuilt. Uh, I rebuilt part of it. I I had this horrible. You know, I had this horrible experience trying to get the thing to work and I got really confused and I just took a little time off and thought about it. So now here's where I'm at. And and most of the progress I've made is thanks to your comments and suggestions and thank you for that. I am truly grateful. Um, this is going to be the pulley and main sprocket, drive sprocket assembly, which I am going to put at the bottom of the lift hill and I'm going to show you how that's going to happen right now and then we're going to do it. So in addition to making a giant mess in the garage with a bunch of other projects, here's my scenery for the proto palette. There's the proto palette. I made a video about that today and then all sorts of other crazy. While I was at that, I also was thinking about the chain and my problem with the chain being droopy, as you may recall from the last video. And so what I did was, um, you know, the chain's made out of steel. It's pretty freaking strong. So I took some zip ties and I just, tied the thing up so that it would be more or less of a straight line so that I could get an idea of how the whole thing would work because based on your comments it started getting really clear that the chain drive could sit at the bottom of the hill pretty effectively and and everything would work out pretty fine and so I I stopped worrying about how to put the motor up top and I got back to following your suggestions and doing a little bit more research um, and here's kind of where I'm at with that with the chain all tied up at the top there and everything in a nice convincing straight line where I end up in my thinking is that this mechanism that I built this set of braces that I built here will hook very nicely to the bottom here and then what I can do is I can adjust my chain with a combination of a tensioning sprocket with a combination of a tensioning sprocket and taking a couple of links out of the chain and what I'm going to end up with is I'm going to end up with one really really strong really tight chain lift system and then the rest of the transmission that I built can work right back here and so here's one of the two pulleys and the second pulley and the third pulley will all be there and the motor will sit down here at the bottom of the hill and the whole thing is going to work very very nicely and then just for fun I decided that I'm also going to set up magnetic sensors and all sorts of other cool electronics to power the thing because I can do that all with Proto Palette, which is so much fun to work with I can't even believe how much fun it is. So I'm going to get started putting this thing on the chain lift and let's see if, how far we can get today. I am pretty sure that this is where these brackets need to go to hold that first the main drive sprocket. I've just got them clamped on here right now and so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to weld them in place. I still haven't figured out how to get close enough to the weld to where I can see what I'm doing without having my face like right in all of that smoke. So, so my strategy is the whole time I'm welding, I'm actually holding my breath. So I've got to get it done in like less than 30 seconds every, every stretch. So anyway, there's that. So what happened was I, uh, I put these two brackets on backwards and that's what you just saw me weld. Um, so what I did was turned off the camera, had a little temper tantrum and turned them all around. And so now it's all fixed and better. 
I figured I would let you know that, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put these uh, axle and pulley and sprocket on there, and I'll do it just as fast as I can. Okay, I think this is going to work. We are back in business on the chain lift side of things. Let me show you what we got. Um, down here now, I have the sprocket all hooked up, and the the zip ties are going to prevent anything serious from happening, but here's what will happen basically. The, the chain will turn, the motor will turn, and it'll drag the, the, the roughness you see is coming from the zip ties that are holding the chain in place like we talked about before, but I mean the whole thing is very, very, very smooth and very fluid, and I think, uh, I think it's going to work out uh, pretty darn well. Um, I thought I'd show you one other thing. The next piece of the puzzle that I'm working on is the thing called the chain dog, right? What I'm gonna what I'm gonna do to finish this up is I'm gonna put the transmission. I'm gonna go get the transmission that I took apart a little bit, and I'm gonna put that back together, and I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it back down at the bottom here, and that'll be done very very soon. And while I've been um, puzzling over this, I've also been puzzling over some other things. The chain dog, which is the thing that connects to the chain and and pulls the cart up the hill. So let me show you what I've done to uh, start designing the chain dog and make that come true. As you may know from some of my other videos, I got a uh, 3D printer a couple of months back and that's been really, really cool in helping me build and think about all, all kinds of things. One of the things that I built is this little device here, which is um, my chain dog. And what it is, I'll build it out of steel when it's all said and done, but what it is now is it's it's a, um, it's just plastic. It's the parts that are going to be the thing that grabs onto the chain. It mounts underneath the cart. It grabs onto the chain and will pull the cart up the hill, up the lift hill. So let me, let me show you exactly what I mean by that. If you look here at my little chain dog, what'll happen is when the cart comes along, it'll roll up and then it'll catch onto the chain and so the cart will be going like this and then the chain will pull the cart up the hill and then when it gets off the end of the when it gets to the end of the chain the cart when it starts moving under its own power it'll just go off and then this part along the track as it rolls it'll almost touch the track as the cart goes around but it won't but the only the only place it'll touch is when it catches on to the when it catches on to the chain lift system and the chain lift pulls it up the hill like that, right? So that's my that's my 3D printed chain dog and, and the, one of the million great things about 3D printing in, in addition to that, it's just like crazy fun to do. Um, it really helps you think about and build things. You can build things in your computer wherever you are. If you've got your laptop with you, you can use, I use SketchUp, which is fun and free. And, uh, and, I, and I built this in SketchUp and then I printed it out and I've tested it now just with you. And so I'm pretty comfortable that this is gonna be a workable system. So now I'll go and build it out of steel and hook it to the cart. So that's the scoop for the day. I've made a little bit of progress on the chain lift. It's coming along. We're gonna get this sucker motored up and outside in the front yard and then we'll see what the neighbors think. <laughs> we'll see what they think. Um, so. That's the scoop. Thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. It is always great fun to do these things, and I am grateful for your support. Please like and share and subscribe. That's the main deal that really, really helps keep the whole thing going, and I'm super grateful for your time. I'll see you soon.